question. Did you know that MeUndies has its own activewear line? <laughs> okay, no, not officially, but that does not mean it's not possible. A few weeks ago, I received a comment from Steph, and Steph was wondering if the MeUndies bralettes make good sports bras. And you know what? I did not know. But now is the time we figure this out. So in this video, I am going to put these pieces to the test. I already own several different MeUndies bralettes. I also want to test out the Undies boy short model, which totally looks like spandex to me. So I'm going to put them on, do a workout on camera. So we are figuring this out together and we will test it with low impact and high impact workouts. I can't wait. I really hope we're not disappointed here. Do not forget to give this video a like. It definitely helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. And once again, thank you, Steph. And I think my pizza is here. Keep watching. My cat just fell out of my closet. Now this ball of sustainable fabric has potential to be the next MeUndies workout attire. The MeUndies boy short model. Now I didn't see this at first for the longest time. I always disregarded this look because it just, it wasn't my thing until I realized that this may be very cute spandex. And I definitely think it has potential for the everyday look, but we're gonna one up it today and test it with a workout. You cannot deny that the U back bralette looks like a sports bra. I mean, there's no padding, there's no push-up, which I prefer, but it also does have cozier fabric. So yes, it's a great sensation to wear. It's very soft, like they say, but at the same time, there's no elastic spandexy material that is going to add any compression and tuck you in. In my opinion, the T-back bralette looks the most flattering on me, and it does have a sporty look to it for sure. Even though it does have skimpier straps, it definitely does squeeze me in a bit better. Now, when you do turn it around, this little teeny strap right here annoys me every time, because every time I see it, I wanna get some scissors and snip it. <laughs> and it's sad, because it's the cutest bralette on me. But I will say this part is adjustable, so maybe there is hope that this can work. This, I think, is just to humor the both of us. I mean, yeah, I can make it nice and tight because you can adjust the straps, and the back has three different clasping options. But like, this is like going around in a bikini, uh, maybe like a micro bikini. I just, I don't know, I just don't see this one happening. And finally, the runched bralette. I am putting all of my money on this one because not only does it have still a lot of coverage in the front, it's got a good grip on me, but you can adjust the straps and in the back, you have four different options here. So I can make this very, very cozy, super cozy, so restricting. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I just, I don't know, I like how it feels. I just, I just can kind of tell, you know, when I was walking around in this, that this has potential to be way sportier than we could ever imagine. And also there is this MeUndies bralette that does have underwire. I think it's for somebody with a bigger chest, but I just don't like the look of it. So I just didn't buy it. That's, that's really it, because I buy these things with my own money and I just didn't want that. It just, it wasn't cute. Hey, well, let me get into this very mix match look and let's put everything to the test. Keep watching and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. For low impact, I think we can all agree that all of these MeUndies bralettes work, but like under a tank top or a camisole, something to serve as backup. Backup from what? I feel like you know. I have three different MeUndies packages and I'm trying to space out my MeUndies content so this doesn't become like a MeUndies fan club even though I am obsessed with them. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unbox these 
over on my Patreon. And whenever I do an unboxing on there, it's also like a fun, chill chit chat where I kind of update you guys about my life or like my YouTube channel strategy and like just anything and everything. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. And then eventually, someday, someday, there will be another MeUndies try on haul video featuring these pieces. I feel like we knew the triangle bralette was gonna disappoint us. It's teeny tiny. Like I'd feel very silly having this be my standalone top and walking into a yoga studio. Like there's no way I wouldn't get stares. It just looks like an undergarment. So if you do wear this ever outside of the home, please take a picture and send it to me. I wanna see how you make this work. I was disappointed in the tea back bralette, which stunk because it's the cutest thing on me. But in, you know, in the beginning, it did give me some side boobage, whatever. Like it was so minor, it didn't bother me. But when I was changing positions on the mat, I felt like I was gonna pop out. And yoga is all about changing positions. I think the u back bralette will be a crowd favorite because not only does it look like a sports bra, you know, it's appropriate to walk around in, but I had no side boobage. I felt very comfortable when I was tilting my angles. In general though, the MeUndies bralettes do run a bit low. So that's personal preference but I definitely feel like this did a stand-up job so far. The runch bralette, which I like to call an everyday bralette because it literally looks like those fashion bralettes versus a bra, but I thought it did pretty well. Again, that same type of low cut, but I had no spillage on the sides. You got a nice thick band on the bottom. I still felt very at ease wearing it that I did not have to worry about an exposing moment. Question of the video before we move on to high impact, which could change everything, but if you were to walk into a yoga studio, you know, nice and easy stretch day, you know, which one of these MeUndies bralettes would you wear? I think for standalone, I'd be very confident in this one, I think with some black leggings. I'm also playing favorites with the print here because I love this gingham, but I think I'd feel most comfortable wearing this and then if I had like a camisole or something or like some, that has like some type of razor back, I think I would match it with this tee back because I do like how busty it makes me look. Check in with the boy shorts. They are holding up very nicely, still cozy, still a good time. Um, I know that they don't have as much compression as spandex, but you don't notice that really with low impact. Um, I will say though, it is better to wear a thong underneath um, just, you know, when you, you know, when you work out, you get a little sweaty. This is thin material, so you gotta make sure that your thong is thin, maybe neutral colored, you know, keep it very low key, but definitely recommend that. And like, you can just look for yourself. Like, I think they're holding up nice. Like, there's no wedgies or anything, but I am dealing with roll up on my thighs, but that's really hard to be critical about it because all spandex, roll up on me. I don't know, I feel like I'm the common denominator here. You know, I'm the defective one. It keeps happening to me, but it also seems to be happening to my friends. So I think everybody just gets roll up. So why do they make spandex? <laughs> little heads up, this might be hard to watch. It's definitely gonna be hard for me to edit because I am not in shape. I'm not going to claim to be in shape because I'm not. So I'm going to get sweaty and very red and I'm gonna pant a lot. So like, don't stare at my face, okay? But I think we're gonna be okay here. I think you're gonna stare at other things during this workout. Just kidding. Do you think I'm some joke to you? This is not going to be a bounce-tastic time. I am going to put on this white see-through t-shirt to help blur the visuals. <sighs> so nauseous you should feel bad for me and click the like button but I realized I'm not done with my review because some of the bralettes give you the option to crisscross the back 
and I always feel like a good crisscross in the back adds the support. And I'm telling you, I promise that this was an in-depth review, but I do want to give you feedback on the boy shorts. So, ultimately, it felt like underwear. <laughs> it just, it doesn't survive a workout where you get sweaty and you're moving around too much. It starts eventually wedging out, not looking too cute. <laughs> kind of looked like I was wearing a diaper with how it oddly rolled up at one point. Now, if you want to walk out the door wearing the MeUndies boy shorts, do it. I applaud you, but do know that you are doing it at your own risk. But if you want to work out in them, don't. <laughs> do not. I am saving you the embarrassment, the uncomfortableness, the cringiness of people seeing you in your undies. Don't do it. Okay. So, I'm back. Remember me from that intro? So the last time you saw me, I was doing all of these different HIIT workouts to replicate a high impact workout with these bralettes. But things kind of got complicated because both of these styled bralettes let you crisscross the back. And the crisscross method adds some support. Not much, but it changed things. Like I felt like I had to go back and retest these bralettes. But then I still didn't feel very confident in my findings that I went back and retested all four of them again. And I think it was just hard because these are so cute and I really wanted them to work out, but I just don't feel confident recommending any of these for high impact. I felt like even though I'm somebody with such a tiny chest, I still felt the bounce. And when I say the bounce, I feel like you ladies know, if you're a dude and you don't know, well, that's okay. I think you're just watching this for fun. But yeah, it's like, I feel like over time, constantly experiencing the full impact of a bounce could eventually change the shape of you. And I know we don't really want that. You know, we're not looking for that. So. I just know. So yeah, with low impact, I think it is fine. Um, you saw the results on that. But with high impact, I just, I can't. And I'm sad about it. But luckily, I prefer to do yoga more than any HIIT workout. I'm unsure how these would do during hot yoga where I sweat like a pig. <laughs> so I have yet to test that out, but I feel like I have to officially go to a sauna yoga studio to do that. But if you end up doing that, let me know how that goes for you. I swear, Kitty, if you start licking your bungee in the background, I'll probably keep it in because click bait. What's so great about MeUndies though is there is actually no additional membership fee. You have no contract, no commitment. There's no fine print of some other sneaky charge. It's really just you being able to shop membership discount pricing so it's really, it's just a no brainer. It's the best thing you can do. They have three categories of prints, classic, bold, and adventurous. Let me break them down. The classic section is your neutral solids. So like black, navy, white, and those are available year round. Even if inventory does run out, they're always gonna come back and therefore they are your lowest priority. Bold prints are your uniquely colored solids that often have to do with the season. They get released about two to four times a year and it's a few colors that come out at once. So during the summer we had uh, three highlighter colors and then in the fall they kind of had like an Arizona mood board where it was kind of like your deep turquoise and magentas, you know, very low key dark hues and that was really cute. So they just kind of have themes to them. I'd say the inventory does linger for several weeks to a few months. So this is next in line and priority, but you don't have to rush it. Adventurous prints. They are the highest level of urgency and my favorite. They are cartoons, patterns, really anything, but a new print gets released once a week with limited inventory, so it goes by really fast. And remember how I told you to be a member, because also on Monday, members will get the email to shop the new print, and then on Tuesday, the general public can. So again, it's just another perk. You should definitely be a member, because if the print is super popular, 
it does sometimes get sold out right there and then on the Monday. Jump cut. To keep you still entertained, but oh my God, my whole room's a mess. I don't know, maybe I'll just film on a clean background. Cause the fish is half in it. It's a cute fish, but when it's like half in it, like, it, I don't think people know what it is. If you're trying to build your monthly subscription, click account and then scroll down and you'll see the section there. However, I don't really recommend that. Like that's not the way I do it. <laughs> Let me tell you my way, the best way. But the reason I don't do it that way is because you're not really reserving a pair. I like to buy in bulk. I like to buy the sets. I want to know I'm going to get it because I don't know their inventory. I don't know the demand. So you do have the option to start building your cart right away to check out. That's what I do because you still don't have to check out at that very moment. Like if you're signed in, it will save the cart. So you can just like slowly build something, come back the next day and it's all there unless some print has sold out. That kind of thing where it's like the best practice where you're supposed to wait 24 hours, sleep on it and really know you want to make a purchase before you spend money. But at the same time, I get so nervous. I just end up right away buying it within the hour. And I've talked about this before. I mean, the whole limited edition thing is a business tactic and they're a business, they're allowed to make money, they have to pay their employees. So I'm just telling you this just to be aware and it's okay to give in to it. Just know that you are because I get obsessed. I overbuy because I'm so nervous about missing out on something, but I will say I don't regret any of my purchases. Regarding me undies women's inventory, because don't ask me about the men's, I'm sorry, I don't know, but I kind of have an idea going with the women's because I've been tracking it. So automatically I can tell you size small sells out fast and they've gone the complaints and they've acknowledged it and they've added more size smalls, but it's just sometimes it seems like it's not enough to keep up. Like those go by real fast. And then regarding underwear, the cheeky brief model, mm, that goes, mm, I get it though. I love the cheeky brief. And then for bralettes, I think what's gonna, what's rising in popularity is their new scrunched bralette because that looks so cute. You can wear it for every day. But I do know too, there's also a high demand for that U bralette, the one that looks like a sports bra. And uh, what else? You would think socks would sell out really fast, but I haven't noticed that, which helps me because I love collecting socks. <laughs> My sock collection is really impressive. Don't you, don't you know? <laughs> if you're looking at the apparel section, I think the biggest demand is in lounge pants and modal shorts. And I think it's because whenever a print is released, it's not guaranteed to be in all the apparel section. So usually though, they do have them in lounge pants. I've noticed that they've been lacking on modal shorts. I think that they just have so many more US-based customers that they're just following the seasons. So in the summertime, I bet they will still keep up with the lounge pants, but we're finally going to see a new wave of the modal shorts. They've had some pretty cool partnerships this year. One was Harry Potter, which I thought was cool, but like I'm not a mega fan, so I didn't really bother. But then they partnered with The Office and that just sold out like crazy. And like, especially in the lounge pants, like to this day, I was still able to find bralettes and underwear on it, but the lounge pants were so hard to get. But just think about it. The Office print is released. You want a pair for yourself, but you might also want one for like your mom and your dad and your boyfriend. Like the whole family wants to be sporting like office print. Like that made so much sense but I was kind of sad because then I didn't get any. My mom did though, but I did not. I did not, <laughs> I was sad. <laughs> they do have a pretty good return policy, but they don't have exchanges. And really it's just because exchanges take time, especially because you're doing it by mail. And therefore you're not really guaranteed to get that exchange. So they don't even bother talking about it on the website. Like it's not promised because kind of just think about the timeline. Let's say they make this really smexy potato print. <laughs> I like mashed potatoes and it's Thanksgiving almost. So, okay. So imagine a potato print, you know, and I decided to get lounge pants in a medium. So I ordered it. I'm now waiting for it to arrive. Finally, I get it and then I put it on and it's like, oh no, it doesn't fit. So now I want to get the potato print in size small, but too much time has gone by that by the time I return it and get my money and reshop, there may not be any potato print. 
at all, anywhere, in anything. So yeah, that's kind of why they really just don't use that word. I feel like I keep moving the curtain <laughs> with my hair. My advice, if this is your first time purchasing, is to kind of create a sample order. And by that, I don't mean get 10 pairs of the cheeky brief in size small, but add variety by like having all these different prints. No, because that's not really sampling because if the size small cheeky brief doesn't work, then all 10 of them don't work and you have to return them. And then you probably will miss out on all of those lovely prints. And it's just, it's another potato incident. <laughs> you know, don't have that. So what you can do is measure yourself, check the size chart because that's really the best guarantee. That's all the information you have up until you really physically try it on. So do that. But also maybe when I say like sample, I'm talking about like variety of different types. So what I mean by this, if the size chart says you're a size small, stick with it. If it puts you in between sizes, make your sampling with size small and size medium on the first order so you can try it out. And also try different types, like different bralettes, different versions of underwear, because a lot will end up looking cute on you and you just don't even know it yet. And you wanna do this sooner rather than later because firstly, you have my referral link. You get a discount and discounts actually do not happen often. And I'm going to get all into the whole MeUndies sale and the MeUndies price later on in this video. But I'm telling you, it really doesn't happen. Take advantage. There is going to come a time, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, that you are going to want a matching set the cute bralette and the underwear and the socks, all matchy matchy, because you saw it on Instagram, it's so cute. You're gonna want it and you can't have it. Whether it's, you know, a finance issue, you know, because it's too expensive or something is out of stock. Please consider looking at the classic colors because if you have a cute black bralette or, you know, black underwear, you oftentimes can still make an ensemble out of it. You know, it almost looks on purpose, like how people mix match bikinis. You know, it's it's cute, it is. So just consider that um, it's always good to have because also then if you end up starting to like it that way, you can save money where you can skip out on buying a bralette or underwear from time to time and you still have your outfit. It's so cute. So happy shopping. Now let's talk about the MeUndies price because that price tag is kind of up there. It's kind of bougie and I'm here to help you out. This right here is what you've been waiting for because I want to openly tell you all about the MeUndies coupons and codes and sales and really break down the MeUndies price tag because it is <laughs> more expensive like I can't you gotta know it is pricier. This is the cold hard truth Individual prints never go on sale Even if they were designed for a holiday that has already passed You will not be able to buy it at a discount. There is no clearance section now I don't know if this was like some wonky 2020 budget cut thing But what I've observed so far is a Miyundi sale happens rarely. And another reason why I push so hard on getting that initial 20% is because there's not a lot of Miyundi's coupons out there. And if you were to do a Google search, you would think there were a ton, but they're all for new member. And I know this too, because I have Honey and Rakuten. I don't know if I say that right, but it used to be called Ebates. So I have both of those plugins that can search the interwebs in seconds and they do a really great job. So I have them and they start trying them out one by one, adding them to my cart and they keep getting an error popping up because it's only for new members. So to me, after making so many purchases again and again and having that same issue, it just tells me there's not a lot of MeUndies coupons out there. I don't know why they don't do this more often because I am someone that gets super excited about a coupon. Okay, 10%. 30%, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta shop. I go crazy with it. But I am definitely willing to buy a whole lot more if I have a good 30% off discount. That was all really morbid. Let's talk about the good stuff, okay? So remember how I always talk about my referral link? Well, let's talk about your referral link because once you become a member, you're gonna get one. In fact, I don't even know if you need to become a member. I think you just have to have an email sign in, 
but whatever, if you want to look for it, scroll down to the very bottom. It's on the footer of every page, your own custom referral link. So send that to your friends and your family and you'll give them 20% off site wide. And each time they use it, you will get $20 in store credit. And don't be shy like giving that out because it's a do good company. The fabric is soft, the prints are cute, like it's good quality stuff. And the biggest window of opportunity of them all is to follow them on social media, especially their Instagram, because they have giveaways. I've won a giveaway. It was such a good giveaway too. I won $80 in store credit for myself and $80 for Haley and $80 for Brie. Now Haley lives in Korea, so it just wasn't cost efficient for her to stay a member, but she and her boo loved what they got. Brie, however, she's in the States. She loved the material. Her dog loved it a little bit more because <laughs> it would chew holes in her underwear and she was not a fan of that. Anyway, but she is now obsessed with MeUndies. Don't tell her family, but they're all getting me undies for Christmas. And she and I have been checking the website nonstop, waiting for new prints and the sale. I feel like you guys don't care and I'm rambling. But to me, that makes me feel even better about telling you guys about me undies because my friend Brie doesn't really have anything to gain. You know, she's not a YouTuber. She doesn't have all these Instagram followers. She's not passing out her referral link. And yet she is obsessed with it because it's good stuff. And before I log off, I just wanna tell you, thank you so much for shopping my referral link. A lot of them come from you guys, and each time like I get an email and it pops up and I get so excited and I show my mom and like I screenshot and send it to my friends in the group chats and it's honestly kind of braggy, but like it makes me feel so good. Like I feel loved and supported, but also like I'm doing something right as a content creator and making really informative videos. And I don't always talk about this too much, but you know, I'm considered high risk. So I have been in quarantine this entire time and it gets lonely, it gets bored. My mom had to work, like it's Thanksgiving tomorrow and I'm just like here home alone. And it's, it's fine, I don't mean to complain, but like just the reality of it. I have been on such a tight budget because I lost all my jobs. I just have YouTube. And so I've been able now to gift me undies. And the one person I shop for is my mom. But like I got her the office lounge pants because we, lo we love the office. And then I got her Star Wars lounge pants and she doesn't really keep up with Star Wars. <laughs> like she likes it. But the reason I got it was because my brother used to be obsessed and my brother passed away. So it was really nice to bring that back, you know, that memory of Star Wars to her. And I could just tell she really liked it. And at least she knew what it was. <laughs> she knew what stormtroopers were. <laughs> Don't ask her any other question about Star Wars. And then I got some joggers and she thought they were so nice that now this Christmas, I'm going to get her the same exact color of joggers. So we're gonna be matching. I'm, I love twinning, that's kind of my thing I love to do. And so I'm so excited to gift her that. And it just never would have happened if it wasn't for you guys. So I can't really thank you enough, especially in this time, like how much that means to me. So thank you. <laughs> I need to swallow. I'm getting a little choked up. I guess long story short, after I told you that long story, maybe that was personal and boring, I don't know, but just thank you so much. And every time you watch my videos, like this MeUndies try on haul, it surely always gets demonetized, but who cares, whatever. I love uploading these. And so thank you for the love and support. I hope you guys are all having a happy holiday which is I know easier to say than really do, but I definitely hope something good comes your way. And I'm not just saying my MeUndies. <laughs> like, I, I really hope you know the universe has something really good in store for you. So thank you for watching. I love you. I mean it. Bye guys.